So in yesterday's class, we started to discuss about the networking devices. Yes, certain devices we are using for uh, to establish the network or to create a network. Okay, so that's we are going to see in this today's class. And the first one we have discussed about the modem. Can anyone say what is the full form for modem? Modulator and demodulator. Yeah, very good. What is the use of modem? So it acts as an intermediate between the network and the connected device, connecting device. Okay, that is not that much valid. Yes, please. Another point. What is the role? Uh, let I will change the question. Sir, the role. Provide network, sir. Nice point, <laughs> but it is a common point, man. It is not. Whether it will provide the network? Modem is providing the network. No, sir. In that same. Uh, that's what okay inside the sim is there whether the sim is providing the network sim is uh, just a tool to provide that no network want to be there network is provided by the isp internet service provider through that we are getting the internet no that's what the thing see generally we people we are thinking that's what uh, don't mistake inder and uh, selvaram or anybody it is not mean that to it is not just want to we know everything we are using it okay but this is the this is what that only we don't know okay we are thinking that as a common people if you are plugging the modem into our computer then we will get the internet is it true what's your it is receiving frequency from the tower and providing to us that the exact process i need gautam you are about to reach the answer but it is a, a few refinement is needed can you say refined answer is it possible you are about to reach the answer it's a little bit similar modulator what is the use of modulator means it is converting the analog signals which we received from the net no that is uh, as we are receiving the signals from the tower okay the sim through the sim or uh, through that nowadays you know the modem is without sim that the sim is already it is built in correct no so like this whatever the tool is built in or we can remove the sim removable that is not a matter so the mo modulator exam it having the two parts modulator and demodulator as selvaram said okay the modulator what is the use of the modulator what is the role of the modulator means it receives the signal from the antenna and in the it will be in the form of analog okay that is converting into the digital signal the signals which receives in the form of analog that is converting into the digital okay and the demodulator again it transmitting the data it transmitting the data in our computer it started from digital signals so digital to analog it is converting so analog to digital digital to analog signals have we got it that is the concept of modulator and demodulator that's what we are saying it's a modem have we got it so just a sim is a yes, tool sir. okay in order to it is a just a circuit no you know sim is a circuit have you seen the sim if you just a normal sim into the micro sim and nano sim have you seen just a one copper circuit only it's just a circuit yes, using sir. the circuit we are able to connect it okay that's all okay very nicely that you have seen so like with the same circuit we you may see in the smart card you know the ration card which we are using or atm card very simple atm card have you seen atm card credit card debit card whatever card we are using the same circuit but the circuit will be differ that's the concept have you got it that is the thing okay yes, and sir. rj45 we used what is rj45 is registered jack 45 where we are using the rj45 can you say where we are using rj45 connector so multi multi in the network cables network cable that is called as what type of cable the cable name is what ethernet cable especially oh, yes. what yeah what exact cable means that is twisted pair cable the types of cable whenever it is asking it is ethernet cable is a form of twisted pair cable okay so this ethernet cable means it is creating the connectivity okay so among that we are using twisted pair cable okay so in the ethernet cable we are using the rj45 jack the jack means the plastic is called as jack we are crimping, crimping. the rj45 i mean ethernet cable is there no that cable that's wire we are just joining into the jack the plastic jack that is called as crimping the processes okay and ethernet card we have seen that is nic card generally we are saying is ethernet card for network facility but generally we are saying is a nic card network interface card okay 
so that card i mean that card means that is a uh, device that device is used to connect the are getting the receive or uh, receive the signal and transmit the signals also okay so if the nic is fails means in our mobile we cannot able to communicate we won't get the network okay that is the thing okay apart from that and wi fi card we have seen that is the same thing we are using in our mobile as well as computer laptop tablet whatever devices okay so even wi uh, ac smart ac is there smart tv is there no where and all we are using the smart they are using the wi fi card okay in order to connect to establish the connection so without that wi fi card what is the thing we can able to connect with that no so i think one of the members said in this thing nowadays we can convert the tv into a smart tv i think uh, in this group anybody said no this point is it so in other words one said kekala in this in this group in this class anyone said before we can using a small device we can convert a normal tv into a smart tv the yes the cellram yeah cellram yeah i think so he said that so what is the thing is they are using a circuit wifi card ethernet cable usb drives i mean ports they are keeping they are keeping mounting on over the circuit okay so that is called as okay it is not called as wifi card i am saying so to, in order to converting a normal tv into a smart tv that's what i am saying they are adding a extra uh, circuits over the normal television let me come to the point that is the wifi card means just that card is that card means the device is used to generate the wifi and receive the signals sending as well as receiving okay so sometimes unidirection only there for example in tv we cannot uh, act as a hotspot from mobile we have bi directions we can receive the wifi and we can send the wifi signals also am i right we can receive we can generate both the things is possible on our mobile or uh, what is the thing computers all those things it is possible but tv i don't know uh, are you sure about it no oh, sir yes sir it is no, not right. possible sir. not possible from tv it will receive the wifi signal but it cannot generate no it will not generate the signals okay that's what yeah rajshekar asked one question sir i think like a mini pen drive that is that is different that is called as a, a fire stick you know amazon fire stick and uh, Uh, that is pentium intel uh, stick that is called as cpu we are converting that is also i got your point raj shekhar very nice point you made it that is see normally if you are having a led tv or lcd tv normal tv you, we can insert a pen drive such a modem like a device it's not a modem it is a device that is contains the processor ram everything you know so it will act as a external device that is converting a smart tv it is not actually converting it's a smart tv through the device we can that device can able to communicate that's all it's just a communicable device right there have you got it so through that we can able to open the facebook we can share the wifi okay uh, bluetooth or whatever thing that is the concept okay the device is of course very nice point you have said have you seen no the fire sticks and all google amazon fire stick yes sir google fire stick google chrome cast you know that is a device stick like stick means uh, sticks they are saying stick means like a pen drive type of device not that much small little bit bigger like way some modern okay uh, that is the thing okay oh i change the thing okay now about the after that we are going to see about the three devices that is router switch gateway and moreover we are going to discuss about one more topic also that is hub okay what is hub okay first is hub means it is a connecting device yeah for example connecting device have you using extension box in your home have you using extension box extension box means plug box or switch box switch box means i am not it is mounted on the wall extra whenever you are connecting more devices on your spike box yes sir yes sir yeah spike yes, box sir, yes, button, sir. Uh, yeah that's like uh, what is the use of the spike box or how you are pronouncing i don't know spike box extension box or switch box like this they may use many many people they are telling like that have you got my point what i am saying it have more yes, number of sockets okay we can connect multiple devices okay that main plug we can connect to the main uh, switch okay so what is the use so if you are having only one port one uh, plug point means if you want to connect more multiple devices you want to charge your laptop you want to charge your mobile and you want to put another uh, use uh, uh, connect your speaker also suppose i am saying okay so three device you want to connect but you are having only one socket is it possible at a time no only we can connect only one no have you got it so that type we are using the device no like a device here what is the thing we are using a device 
that is used to connect multiple computer let me come to the point okay so here it is a device hub i we are talking about hub hub okay hub hub means generally what is centralized point no what is the meaning of hub means in general english isn't it it's a centralized junction or it's a centralized point okay so through that we can connect multiple computers okay so through that we can connect the internet and we can take the uh, we can pass the internet also to share i mean not pass share the internet also to multiple devices that is hub okay then moreover we are kind of having the switch the switch initially we have i have shown some uh, i mean images also on over the google no i remember it yes sir oh yeah so that is called as switch switch is a intelligent device hub is normally a spike box normally extension box you don't know if you connect it will pass the internet that's all but switch is intelligent why i am saying it's intelligent means it it know so from for example through the switch we can connect multiple computers for example 10 base switch 100 base switch is there that is 10 base switch means at a switch we can connect 10 computers and with one main main connection internet provider okay and uh, 100 base means means 100 computers we can connect it a 20 base switch also there okay that is base means number of computers can connect it okay uh, for example in your uh, i have shown one rack no that is in uh, google that you you also said that in schools we are also seen sir in every floor they are keeping such type of boxes mounted on over the uh, wall have you said no before yes sir so such type of racks what they kept inside means which they make up i don't know what exactly it may be meant for cctv camera that is my maximum the switch and all you can see in the computer lab if they are using network means okay but generally they are using the rack for for cctv connection okay that is different one that they are keeping the dvr connection uh, okay that is different uh, thing okay let you come to the point switch is intelligent device it's also connecting we can connect multiple number of computers but what is the difference means from one computer if you want to pass to multiple computer means if you want to send your data to mul- uh, one computer in hub it is not possible we can pass the data but what is the thing the message will be received by all the five computers which are all computers connected that i will say one example in hub we are connecting five devices okay so all the five devices from one computer first computer to uh, computer person they want to send the message to fifth computer okay but the message can be readable by second computer third computer fourth computer also okay but switch is different first computer person they want to send a message to fifth computer okay through the ip address it the message will be get delivered have you got it so who can read the message means exactly the fifth computer person only it won't send the message to second third and fourth computer people have you got it that is switch okay a router it's a big device is used to connect the two different networks okay that is the thing let we see one video regarding what is hub router i mean hub switch router and gateway okay then you can easily come to know the point of it okay let you understand it just a minute hello everyone in this video we're going to talk about the difference between a hub a switch and a router now all three of these devices are similar but there is a difference in the way they handle data so can you able to hear the audio no the videos audio yes, sir. yeah yes, sir. fine fine yeah listen very carefully the slang will be a little bit different yeah but it will be fine i found it is a, one of the good video that's what i have so on this one yeah let you see that so we'll first talk about a hub now the purpose of a hub is to connect all of your network devices together on an internal network it's a device that has multiple ports that accepts ethernet connections from network devices now a hub is considered not to be intelligent because it does not filter any data or has any intelligence as to where the data is supposed to be sent and that's because the only thing a hub knows is when a device is connected to one of its ports so when a data packet arrives at one of the ports it is copied to all of the other ports so all the devices on that hub sees that data packet so again a data packet comes into one port then the hub will just rebroadcast that data to every port that has a device connected to it 
So even if this computer here only wanted to communicate with this computer over here, these other computers would still receive the data even though the data was not intended for them. So when this happens, it not only creates security concerns, but it also creates unnecessary traffic on the network, which wastes bandwidth. Now a switch is very similar to a hub. It's also a device that has multiple ports that accepts ethernet connections from network devices. But unlike a hub, a switch is intelligent. A switch can actually learn the physical addresses of the devices that are connected to it, and it stores these physical addresses, called MAC addresses, in its table. So when a data packet is sent to a switch, it's only directed to the intended destination port, unlike a hub, where a hub would just rebroadcast the data to every port. So as an example, if this computer here wanted to communicate with this computer over here, the data packet arrives at the switch, and then the switch will look at its table of MAC addresses and matching ports and deliver the data to the correct port. And then the data packet would only go to that computer. So that's the major difference between a hub and a switch. So as a result, switches are far more preferred over hubs because they reduce any unnecessary traffic on the network. So as a review, a hub only detects that a device is physically connected to it. And a switch can detect specific devices that are connected to it because it keeps a record of the MAC addresses of those devices. Now hubs and switches are used to exchange data within a local area network. For example, such as in your home network or in a business. They are not used to exchange data outside their own network, such as out on the internet. Because to exchange or route data outside their own network to another network, such as out on the internet, a device needs to be able to read IP addresses and hubs and switches do not read IP addresses. So that's where the router comes in. Now a router does exactly what its name implies. A router is a device that routes or forwards data from one network to another based on their IP address. When a data packet is received from the router, the router inspects the data's IP address and determines if the packet was meant for its own network or if it's meant for another network. If the router determines that the data packet is meant for its own network, it receives it. But if it's not meant for its own network, it sends it off to another network. So a router is essentially the gateway of a network. So here we have a private network with its router. And we'll refer to this as the red network, indicated by the red colored screens on the computers. And over here, you're going to have different data packets, indicated by their different colors, which represents different IP addresses. And they are going to be entering the red network's router from the internet. Now the router is only going to accept the red data packets because they are the only ones that are intended for this network. So all of the other data packets, the yellows, blues, greens, etc., will be rejected by this router because they were not intended for this network because their IP addresses were not meant for this network. So try to understand it. There is, they are saying the color for our understanding purpose only. Actually, the data will be in colored data, sir. If you are asking means certainly no. Okay. Just for, under, under, uh, for your understanding purpose, they have set this example. Have you got it? What is hub and uh, switch and router, basic thing? Yes, sir. Yeah, the router yes, is sir. Yes, kept sir. between the two networks. For example, the routers are all using for a big, very big network. What is the different type of networks are, if you're asking means, the IP addresses will be different. For example, have you seen the IP address? It may be what? The number will be 126.145.123.5. Likewise, they will get the IP address. Four parts are there. Have you seen the IP address? 
correct yes, no sir. so the ip address range is different okay for example it is always this uh, range will be start from 0 to that is a 1 to 1 uh, 255 range okay the range will be different okay so for example one network having for example 255 means 255.255.255.255 that means what one place we can collect 255 computers into 255 into 255 into 255 if you multiply all the 255 what is the amount we get we are getting a large numbers no 255 into 255 yes, is what it is more no can you say at least can anyone can you do in calculator 255 into 255 sixty five thousand twenty five sir ah, see just just a multiplication itself okay for example yeah for example for a big network for a big company for uh, it companies and all n number of computers are there in over for example let you take any uh, for example tcs let you take means tata consultancy service if you are taking means they are having lot of branches over the world and especially if you are taking the chennai they are having more than 10 branches correct no so all the 10 branches one branch itself they are having they may have what thousands of computers correct likewise another branches may be having thousands of computers so chennai branch all the chennai branch they may have may what likewise lakhs of computers no in order to get it so have you got it so all the chennai branch network will be a one network okay suppose in bengaluru they are having another uh, it offices in bengaluru they may have five offices okay so they there they are having 5000 computers or 10000 computers okay so the router is a device okay they may kept to analyze the data which data which network the chennai network means that is a set of people set of offices okay all the 10 branch will be a one network another in bengaluru all the five branches or whatever number of branches will be another network have you understand it's not based on location it is based on the ip addresses that's what the very important okay so the router will manage the ip address so based on the ip address it will uh, segregate the data have you understand this one have you understood this concept yes sir yeah fine let you see this one now here is an expanded view of routers over the internet there are four networks here indicated by their different colors and each network has their own router along with their hubs or switches and their computers so right now as you can see each network is just exchanging information within their own network their data is not going out on the internet so they are not communicating with other networks they are just exchanging data within their own network using their hub or switch so you can see they exchanging the data in between their network no that is called local area connection local area network lan okay so through the lan the switch is used i am keeping the pointer no can you able to see this the switch is the switch are yes, used sir. to connect the multiple yes sir don't think it is a three computer it may be 300 computer or 3000 computer that is not a matter the switch is a device which is internally it will exchange the data based on mac address media access control access that is called as physical address of a computer okay it won't use ip address when we need ip address whenever we are traveling from one network to another network that time only we need internet we need, we have to use internet no what is ip internet protocol okay so in this internet protocol having a specific ip addresses okay so that's what uh, let you see this video you can easily get it now let's go ahead and exchange data between different networks So let's say for example that this computer here on the red network wants to communicate with a computer here on the blue network. So for this to happen the data packet has to leave their own network and go out on the internet. So the computer sends their data and it goes to the network's router. And once the data packet reaches the router the router will look at the IP address of the data packet and then forward the data out on the internet to the next router and then make its way to the blue network's router and then to the intended destination computer so in a nutshell this is how routers work so in conclusion hubs and switches are used to create networks while routers are used to connect networks have you got it very nicely they said no 
hub and switches are what wait for sir what is the use of creating network creating network nicely they very shortly they have said router is not for creating a network but it is what interconnect the network connect the yeah, internet connect the different networks that's why the internet is made of purely in the routers okay then you may come to the another one techno uh, terminology that is called gateway gateway means it is a certain ip series okay from one gateway that is gateway means uh, let you say from one country to another country we have border no likewise one network to another network okay if the data want to transmit means through some gateway only it want to travel have we got it so a router yes, sir router is a device man router means it's a device have you understand router means okay, so. device it is used to transmit that that's all very finely you asked that router is a device it identify it want to send to which computer network for example as you see in the video for example the data is started the center has to send one uh, one data to i mean send your data i mean send your file to another computer but it is in certainly it is in another country another network okay so how the data will be passed means from our uh, from our network through the switch it will connect to the router okay the router it provides the isp internet service provider okay so through the device that device will identify the ip or oh, this ip where it will be okay then through the gateway it will come to know where the ip is so that ip is in the that country it is not based on country i clearly said it is not based on location through the ip addresses where the address is there okay in that network okay so gateway uh it is a unique uh, unique uh, that is also a address gateway address is there gateway and subnet mask another uh, uh, ip is address it's not ip address mask and subnet mask is another one addresses to connect with the internet it's all the about the address of the I, internet protocol okay so it is used to connect it will find which network that is through the gateway okay so through the over the gateway the data will be passed to the uh through another hub i mean sorry another router another router it make across many routers finally it will reach the destination router the blue router as, as we see in the uh, video okay so in this things it will reach again to the switch and the switch will know the mac address and it will connect to the particular system alone it will receive that have you got it for example from any office they want to communicate they want to make a video call to another computer means the same procedure will be happening have you understand this what is switch hub and router and yes gateway? sir yeah fine let me see this modem we already seen rj45 we have seen ethernet cable uh, sorry card we have seen and hub that's what we discussed no it is hub you seeing the device on here the small device no we can connect up to 10 hubs or 20 maximum 10 it is just a broadcast mode only okay active hub passive hub mean there is a if the amplify the signal hub is just regenerate the reconstruct not regenerate reconstruct the signals means that is called active hub normal we are using no that is called as passive hub it will not uh, uh, amplify the signal what signal is received same thing it will it will send what exactly i want to send means the hub two type of hubs also there active hub means suppose we are getting a internet speed at 100 mbps okay i am saying we are received the hub one of the port you know many ports are there one port we connected the internet connection okay so with that we are connected to the remaining nine computers or 10 computers okay so the through the one port active hub how it will be how it will be uh, uh, works means it receives the internet in the 100 mbps it will segregate all the, it will give the equal importance for all the computer will receive the internet in the speed of 100 mbps but data uh, will be sent no from one one computer to another network or to another uh, wherever in the part of the internet also but network traffic will be more if you are using the more computers means that is a drawback of hub okay but what is this less computers means equally that is it will generate that is called active hub passive hub means it will receive the data in the in the rate of 100 mbps okay but 10 computers are connected means it will segregate into 10 10 mbps that means what each computer speed is what 10 mbps speed only have you got it have you got it but it will not amplify passive hub it will not amplify amplify means you know it is increase generally we are using you no know, amplifier sound amplifier and all that means what it boosts up the sounds no that is likewise here they, it won't boost up the uh, uh, things that is called passive hub have you got it two type of hubs 
Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Go to. Let me go to the switch. I already said it is an intelligent hub. It is also used to connect it. But how the data will be transmitted? It will send the data to the desired or the required or the mentioned MAC address based on the MAC address. That is media access control. Uh, that you have to understand the full form, all the things. Okay. So through the MAC address only. That is MAC address. Another name they are saying is a physical address. Physical address of the computer means that means MAC address. Okay. So through the MAC address, the data will be sent and received also. Same thing. This is a uh, switch. Okay, as you are seeing, you know, D-Link. Likewise, many companies are there. Cisco switch. Likewise, many companies are there. Okay, and then gateway. Okay, what is gateway? Is you can see it is a device used to connect the different type of networks to perform the necessary translation so that connected device can communicate properly. That is that's what what is the thing. Whenever we are using the different network. This protocol, this uh, uh, gateway, like with a router, in the router, the gateway is there. Okay, router is called as the gateway because it is the end of the network. We can say that what is router means it's the end of the network because all the computers are connected connected in the switch. Okay, if you want to connect to another another network, means that time only the router is involved in, you know, that's what we have seen at last. Router is used to connect the different network. Hubs is used to establish the connectivity, I mean, network, create the network. That's what at last we have seen. No, here what is the thing? The gateway it will tell where it wants to send. Okay, that is the router. It's called as a gateway endway. That's what I use the word uh, like with uh, what is the thing? Boundary for a country. I said no. For example, one country. If anybody wants to pass to another country, means okay. It uh, very simple. I will say that. For example, India Nepal is very close country only. Have you got it? But we have the border. No. So nobody can trespass yes, the border. We have the proper uh, what is the thing? Proof or proper. Uh, so what is the thing? Gateway. It is the end of the thing. Uh, I said the last thing. Whenever we need a uh, travel to another country, we need the proper document. That's the last point I made it. Okay. So even though it is thing, we have to, we should not trespass. So after a proper validation, we can. They are allowing to travel to the different network. Okay. That is different country, another country. Likewise, the gateway is act as here. Uh, physical barrier to transmit the data. The gateway uh, that is very important. So how the virus will be spreaded? No, for example, let I will tell one thing. Uh, the gateway is strong means. So whenever you are doing the online payments and all, it will take to another gateway. Have you seen? It will take to the whenever you are doing a payment. Ah uh, yes, part. sir. First, it will take to many private gateways are there. That is for banking sector. That is different. What I you are, what we are using. That is different. I am not coming to tell that one is this one. Okay, it is entirely different. What I think, whenever we are communicating with the different networks, okay, through the secured channel, we are uh, we are uh, what is the thing? We are traveling. We means the data is is traveling. For example, how we are doing the online payment? Everything will be in the converting into the. Digitalized form. For example, our our account number, our username, password, everything, whatever the payment amount, everything, the details will be transmitted into the bits. That is binary digits with the encrypted manner. You can see this, no, a 128 bits encrypted, 226 bit encrypted. Have you seen that website? Secured one. That is, uh, I forgot it. Uh, SSL secured. That is secured socket layer. That layer will give a protection for our data to transmit from one data. I mean, from one network to another network. That is the use of the gateway. Okay, so through that it will check. The gateway will check it. Okay, whether it is secured or not. Whether sometimes if you are visiting some websites, means it will what? Our antivirus program may say what? Insecure website. It will block. No, have you experienced? Whenever you yes, try sir. to download any software, means any. Uh, new movies. If you try try to download from even in mobiles, it will be asking. It will be harmful for your device. Ah, yeah, that uh, is. Yeah, that that is one thing. Some websites will be stopped. It will be banned. That's what the gateway will be banned. Very simply, yes, yes. I will say from India, they are saying. You know, sometimes we are banning the TikTok. Where we are banning the like with many websites, we are they are banning. No, banned means how they are banning means in the gateway, especially in the router. They will mention so from this IP addresses. Uh, I will tell you the content only. The Tamil records they are try to ban the website. No, have you seen? Uh, yes, new. sir. Yeah, what yes. is actually happening? Be a, a computer students, you want to know that how they are doing. No, for example, how they are releasing the movie from different different uh, 
network means for example first time they are uh, they shoot the video or they get the video i mean video in the sense of uh, they are getting the movie no for example by illegally they are taking in the what is the thing cinema theaters or uh, duplicate pirated versions they are getting it no so how they are publishing yes, in, on over the internet means what is actually the thing is happening from one network they are publishing it okay so our indian government or from our tamil nadu government or whatever thing they are banning they come to know they will tracing their ip address okay that computer ip address they are banning that website that is the, from the router itself they are banning the gateway itself they are banning okay once they ban the means from any data is received from the ip address the gateway will not allow have we got it the router will not allow to our indian network so like a network you just for example i'm saying have we got the point can you able yes, to sir. So yes sir yes like, sir but what is the next movement what they are doing no with the different server different server means from another computer another uh, country another network they are releasing that so we didn't ban that network no have you understand mm, yes so sir they cannot uh, find yeah. many as many as they ah. are doing yeah like when so they, are, they, they are they are having more servers i mean they are uh, uh, hired more servers on over different part of the what are the thing countries and from different different networks they are releasing the movie i mean they are uh, publishing that illegally have you got it so that's what the thing so what yes, is happening sir. exactly you people want to know that so that's what i use that example okay now i hope you understand what is the use of router what is gateway mean have you got it yes sir yeah now i will read the last point you can easily understand gateway helps to connect a different type of network that is following that is they are saying on example in the uh, diagram Uh, that is it is a help to connect with the different type of network okay whether it will both it will send and it will receive it will check it is a checkpoint for for literally if you want to check uh, take means okay that is the thing so here what is the thing um, they are having an office through the office they are connected to the uh, private network that is it's all all the computers are connected together this is a switch van wide area network or lan okay so through the net, uh, it is getting into the uh, gateway so where it want to connect whether it want to connect to the mobile or it want to connect to the other building private network it want to connect that they want to decide which one the gateway will decide it that's what it is okay okay let me come to the another one wifi okay yesterday i have said no the types of wifi are there for example if you are having the mobile uh, box you know outer box you can take that one and you can check it okay mobile n g n a like we are mentioning slash slash and all they will put okay so if your wifi is uh, i mean if it is strong means if it is the frequency is more means then we can able to connect the wifi 802.11 it is port it's a port number okay i triple i uh, sorry i triple e that is i forgot the full form that only deciding the standard institute of electrical and electronic standard uh, uh, devices that only certificate like this isi certificate is there no for this type of signals that is why uh, frequencies that i triple e i think so okay that only they are uh, giving the standard giving the sta- uh, standardized frequency that only giving the authority okay so they only deciding which mobile they are applying over it and if they approve means the mobile will be uh, what is thing it will go for the product- production okay then we are receiving it okay the wifi card it's a likewise we as we discussed okay the wifi card is used to get receive the signals as well as what we can generate the signals also that's what is you can you can see this third point it allows to connect our device to hotspot availability the third hotspot means what we generate okay then you can see it may be a second point you can see it may be internal or external built in wifi that is in our laptop and all what is the thing wifi will be internal in mobile it is what wifi is internal or externally we are having it is inbuilt no that is the thing for Indeed, example yes, if you are using the desktop computer you know in your home you may use the wifi device they are keeping like with uh, two antennas or one antenna one device hub like with device you are keeping no that is called external wifi yes okay that is the thing that's a central thing okay but desktop computers we have to install a, uh, like a port like a usb type we can plug and play wifi also there that is pci express yes. card okay that is another type of wifi that is you can you might see 802.0 to like ways you may see the number also there if you are referring me okay just it is a thing. Uh, that's what i'm saying no this is the wifi this is the wifi card this is the antenna which we are using no 
actually we are cover uping with the things we are using it but in the in the mobile or anything without antenna they are connected with the what is thing uh, we are directly emitting the signals or receiving the signals mobile or laptop or computers wifi enabled inbuilt computer external wifi means we are having like this this one okay let me come to the network topology which we already discussed one second i will just discussing this one okay there are many topologies five type of topologies are there bus star tree ring mesh okay so what is bus topology what is the structure star topology is like a star shape okay tree topology what is the ring topology is a circular thing okay mesh means it will be more uh, just a cross cross like this mesh you know like this yeah. See, literally it will be there the connection will be there okay this there are topology means connection okay how we are arranged that's what you can see it can be defined as what is network topology means? it can be defined as the arrangement or structure of network how the network will be connected how the connection will be established that is called as topology the way of connection the way of establishing the connection or arrangement or structure of the network is called as topology okay in the topology five types are there okay so among that we are going to see the bus star tree and ring and mesh okay regarding that i already shown in one video anyhow i will show again it for your understanding purpose okay just from that you can easily understand that one what are network topologies so that's what we're going to talk about in this video now a topology is the layout of how a network communicates with different devices and there are a couple of different categories of topologies there's wired and wireless so we're first going to talk about the most common wired topologies and the most common wired topology that's used is the star topology now in a star topology all computers are connected to a central wiring point such as a hub or a switch all data on a star network passes through this central point before continuing to its destination. Now, one of the major benefits of this topology is that if one computer failed or if there was a break in the cable, the other computers would not be affected because each computer has their own cable connection. However, a disadvantage of the star topology is that if the central hub or switch fails, then all the computers on that central point would be affected. And this is called a single point of failure. If this happens, the entire network goes down. The audio is so audible not to you. The video audio is uh, audible. Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. Yes, sir. Yeah, this uh, okay. topology is called ring. The ring topology is a type of network configuration where each computer is connected to each other in the shape of a closed loop or ring. So every computer on this ring has exactly two neighbors for communication purposes. Each data packet is sent around the ring until it reaches its final destination. Now this kind of topology is very old and is rarely used today. Now the advantage of a ring topology is that they are easy to install and easy to troubleshoot. However, the disadvantage would be that if just one of these computers goes down, or if there was a single break in the cable, then all data flow would be disrupted. And the next one is the bus topology. The bus topology is very old technology and like the ring topology, it's not used today that much. This is the kind of network setup where each of the computers and network devices are connected to a single cable or backbone. And this backbone is a coaxial cable. The computers connect to this cable using special connectors called BNC, which are also known as T connectors. One of the advantages of the bus topology is that it is also fairly cheap and easy to implement. However, a disadvantage of the bus topology is that it requires that the cable be terminated at both ends using terminators. In order for this setup to remain operational, there must not be any open connections, including the ends that attach to the computers. So if a computer is removed or if the terminators are loose or missing, then the cable would be open and then data would bounce back. And this bounce is known as signal reflection. And if this happens, data flow would be disrupted. 
And there is also the mesh topology. Now in a mesh topology, each computer on the network is connected to every other computer on the network. So by having so many connections, it handles failure very well. In this illustration, there are four computers with three connections on each computer, which makes a total of 12 connections for this network. Now the advantage of a mesh topology is that it creates a high redundancy level because if one or more connections fail, the computers would still be able to communicate with each other. However, because of the amount of cabling and network cards that have to be used, mesh topologies can be expensive. So they are rarely used on local area networks or LANs. They are mainly used on wide area networks like the internet. In fact, the internet is a good example of a mesh topology because the internet is made up of numerous routers all over the world that are connected to each other to route data to their intended destination. So even if a few routers go down, the data will get rerouted using a different path to ultimately reach their destination. So the internet is very redundant because it's using a mesh topology. So now we're gonna talk about wireless topology. I hope you understand the wire topo topology at we seen that. Okay, wireless topology also I shown that no to you. I mean the entire video you have seen already. Have you remember it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Just among that for your uh, reminder, I'm just showing that what is bus topology, star means what, the tree means tree is another type. It is not mentioned here. That the hierarchical pa part, that is a very old one. Okay, nowadays we may use mesh topology and the star very small things but maximum we are using the using the switch and hubs we are going with the mesh topology okay because that is very uh, more advantages are there. that's what okay these are all the topology uh, the topology means i already said the structure or uh, the way of establishing the networks that is connectivity not network connectivity okay so in that we have seen bus topology what is the advantage and disadvantage that is very easy, but what is the thing? Any, any one terminator is got, gone means, that means what? All the data will be, flow will be bounced back to the original, another terminator. So another, all the devices cannot able to connect it. Okay, see, fault diagnosing is difficult. So these are all the points I will, uh, very quickly, I will share this slide to in our website also, after once it's completed means, okay. This is the characteristic of bus, okay. And star topology we have seen. But what are the uh, disadvantage means? We can, it is very easy and uh, we can easily find the fault also if any uh, error is happened means. But what are the disadvantage means? You can see the center hub is failed means. Our uh, entire network will not get connected. Okay, that is the thing. And whenever you are going for a more number of com uh, computers means, that's what. But it is uh, the hub we need to, again, we need to place another hub for that. Okay, then we need to establish the connection, okay. So it, is, it will be used for very smallest network, star type of topology, okay. Tree topology, see, different type of, uh, lot of star topology connected together, like a branches, okay. The main connector is there, no, using the bus, I mean, bus type of a centralized uh, cable that is called as, uh, as, act as a branch and remaining, th sorry, that is called as a trunk and remaining things act as a branches, okay. These are all the things, but what is the thing, if any, the main trunk is failed means all the network will be failed. Okay, any one branch is failed means it cannot send the send or receive the data. Have you people understanding this one? What is the topology? What yes, I mean? Yeah, this is thing. And uh, yeah, these are all the things. And tomorrow we let me see about the types of networks. That from the lower classes onwards you may study that pan personal area network, local area network, metropolitan area network, and wide area network. So apart from that, we will see some interesting facts also to tomorrow. Okay, students, let me see in tomorrow's class. Thank you to all. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Have a good day, sir.